Hey, hey, hey. It's Sunday. Time to focus our energy for the week. Look at what's ahead. Talk a little bit about all that energy going through this week. Yeah, Tarian Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Program. Come and enjoy me for a few minutes. Let me know how you're doing. How did you make it through that eclipse new moon energy? What were you noticing? What were you noticing for you? Did you get outside and look up? Let me know below. Were you able to move through it? Did you receive some new information about your own shifts, about your own path? That's a lot of what this energy was about. All of this summer, really, all of July up until now, that gateway of eclipse energy, it's starting to move out. We still have a little bit of it left. But where has it affected you? What have you noticed? We're moving into the late summer, energy's beginning to shift. How is it affecting you? How are you showing up? What's going on? What are you noticing in your life? All right, I'd love to hear from you what you're noticing. Really powerful weekend, really powerful weekend. I had my Reiki Mastery Level, the teacher level retreat. Very honored to have four new teachers coming out, teaching Reiki and applying it to their work. Big shifts, really big shifts. This is an amazing energy modality that helps us create that spiritual practice. Do you have a spiritual practice? Hashtag spiritual practice, let me know below. If you need help figuring out what a spiritual practice is, definitely you can go over to my website page, Terry and Hyman, I think the link is above, and download your free guide to setting up a spiritual practice. Really important in these times and this craziness and all that we're going through, really important that you have a spiritual practice. It will help you get through so many things. Just like all this energy that we've been going through, Come on, I know that's been challenging for everybody. I really do, and I understand. I've had my challenges myself. But these are opportunities to learn, to grow. When we have a spiritual practice, it really does help you to find the courage to move through, to open up to what it is to share, to be vulnerable. It's okay, it's okay to be vulnerable. We open up to our stories of our life and really think about what this energy is going on. It helps to work it through. It helps you to see what are our lessons? What is our drama? What can we let go of? Definitely, what can we let go of? So if you can, do me a favor and go ahead and share this out. I've got one more share here I'm on Instagram as well as Facebook. Just share it in the Empowered Spirit Circle. You can come join us. We've had some fun postings, all the astrology all the happenings, all of those things that are going on. Definitely. So it's a very challenging time, all right? Cleaning out old files and cleaning out of boxes, Millie, that's great. That's a perfect thing to do right now. The more that we get rid of and clean out, you make room to open up those new avenues in your life. It feels good, right, Millie? It really feels good to do that. I know for myself, I've had to do it quite often lately. I just did my closets. Looking for a different kind of style for myself. I just did my closet saying so much to donate and shift away. Why not? Why not? Definitely an opportunity to do that. So yes, this energy has been super intense. We've had a lot going on. And one of the things to do right now really is to think about last year at this time. Last year when that bet, that full total eclipse that we saw here, where were you? What were you reflecting on? Think about that. Post below if you want to share a little bit. What were you working at? What were you doing? How have you been showing up this year now from that energy? Because I invite you, as you really begin to reflect on that energy, really start to think like, okay, all these things I've been wanting to do, wanting to do, now is like when we're going to start setting it forward. As we move into the second half of the year, well, we're in the second half, but if we move out of summer into the final quarters of the year, all right, Mercury retrograde is going to start to go direct over the weekend. So we're going to start to be able to move forward and see it, but you need to be ready. You need to be prepared. So as we move into the week, 
this week, Monday through Friday, we've got a really great productive week, all right? You're gonna be able to start to feel like you're getting some things done, moving a little forward. Everybody's schedule's starting to change. I know down here in the south and southeast around here, people are already back to school, so we're creating a new change. A new energy is shifting, and up north they're still in the summer schedule. But the energy is shifting. The days are starting to get short already. Can you believe it, right? But it's time to think about it for yourself. Where can you make those shifts for you? And that's what all of this eclipse energy is all about. We've had a lot of disruption, so to speak, right? We've had a lot of shifts going on. A lot of things maybe feeling like they're even happening at once. This, and then this, and then this, and then this. A little layering of energy. And that's what all of this since July has been about. So now we get the opportunity to really kind of reflect where we are, make a plan, be productive this week, notice your vibration. It's an opportune time to raise it up a little bit. All right, last week in my astrology groups, hey Jackie, last week in my astrology groups, everything they were saying was upgrade, up level, shift your work, step it up, all of these things, all of this energy is coming in from the, from the cosmos. And we can use that to empower our lives, we can, we really can. We don't have to be victim to the stars, but we can use that knowledge to feel empowered, to feel the courage come forward, to really step up, to make some promises with yourself, with your spirit. That's what this energy is about. When we are aware of it, when our consciousness raises that vibration, we can be a master to our mind. We can use this energy to direct our lives. And that's what this week is gonna to start to help us see. All right, you still need to do a little of your own reflective work. And actually right now, we're still in that new moon energy. We moved out of the eclipse. Yesterday, we had a void, of course, all day. So any intentions you might have put out there yesterday, redo them now. Rewrite them out. Yesterday morning till about the end of the day, about 10 p.m. Saturday, all day, really, void, of course. That means things just won't kind of go where you want it. So now's the time. You have for the rest of the day till about 11 p.m. tonight to set those intentions. As you reflect back on your life, where can you take your life forward? Where can you up level? Where can you upgrade the work it is that you're doing? All right, those are the questions to start raising your vibration towards this week. Be productive, be very on your game this week as we go Monday through Friday. By the time we get to the weekend, you're gonna have that opportunity to reflect again. Mercury's gonna start to move up his action. He's gonna start to go direct. All right, so that kind of shifts it. But then by the end, by this time next week, no, maybe a few more days, uh -huh. but by the middle of next week, towards the end of next week, we'll start to feel that direct motion. So having your preparedness, having your work ready for you, that's what you wanna do. So journal, 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 all right? Journal, it was a big energy weekend. My journal was out several times, setting new tensions, and then even just stopping. I was up at the medicine wheel, just reflecting on all of this. I can mention I had my mastery retreat, big energy. Big energy, passing this knowledge on to students. Really big, really powerful to see them opening up and spreading. Very abundant, very grateful. And so finding the places to sit down and ask yourself, who am I? What is my purpose? What am I following? What am I doing? Is it just paycheck to paycheck or am I happy? Follow those shifts for you. Let the moon, the sun, the planets, go outside and look at Mercury, red. We were looking at it last night over the water. It's red. Go out there and see it. Feel that fire stirring it up to make those changes for you. All right. Yes, it has been intense this summer, but don't let it keep you in an intense mode. Don't let it keep you in a downward spiral. Start to find the way to bring that vibration up. Start to find the way to step it up to that next level. Yes, in whatever capacity you can. How do we do that? How do we do that? Post below, how do you do that? What do you think? Now most of you know, I do help people. I help, help people moving through transitions. I help to really get that spiritual practice going. That's what we do. We create that sacred space. We create that practice that we come back to. So that creates that courage for all of us. That's what we wanna do. So if you need help, go get the free guide I have on my website. It'll help you start that practice and reach out and let me know. Now is the time to step it up. Definitely now is the time. All right, so before we get into the cards, and the cards are great reflection as well, let's just take a moment and just focus our energy in for the week. It's the end of the weekend. I've lost my bowl. <laughs> it's the end of the weekend. Thank you, Linda. I'd like to be down in Key West. And just take a moment, call back your energy. Sometimes Sunday night can produce a little anxiety. 
That's when I just take a rest. And no tomorrow will come. So take a nice deep inhale just for today. One of the parts of the Reiki principles just for today. Take a deep inhale. And then just exhale back out deep into the earth. Call back your energy. Begin to focus. Feel that third eye opening. Feel yourself dropping into the heart as you take a deep inhale. And then exhale all the way down deep into the earth. Take another inhale, bring that breath all the way up the body. Call in your higher guides. And as you exhale, feel the alignment coming right over the crown. Feel the alignment. As you call in your higher guides, call in your spiritual self. Align to the physical body. Feel your connection, feel your grounding in your center. Shoulders, shoulders over hips and hips. Feel the feet flat on the floor if you can. Take another deep inhale, pull up that prana from the earth, mother earth, all the way up through the crown into the heavens. And as you exhale, feel the alignment, call in your guides, call in your teachers as we honor this time, right here in late summer, inhaling and exhaling. Feel the alignment coming forward for you. Feel the focus of your week. Set the intentions, ask your guides, to guide you, to protect you as you move through this week. Offering gratitude for your work. Gratitude for the ability to come in, center, so that you can start your work next week at your highest vibration. Allowing all this eclipse energy to settle. Feel the fire of Mars opening up, opening up you to your path to step it up just a little bit. That's what this energy is about. Take a nice deep inhale and just exhale out. <sighs> Let it all go. Bring the awareness back. A nice deep inhale and exhale. Coming back. All right. Feel very empowered right now with all this work going on, all these shifts and changes. As we look to the shaman cards, love these shaman cards. They're beautiful cards, helping us to connect right now to Mother Earth. All right, so our, our card for all of us is the Pachamama. That's our, that's our general overall card, but it was reversed. All right, so Pachamama is all about Mother Earth. So when it's reversed in this deck by Colette Brown Reads and Alberto, he, they just use the reverse cards as the medicine. When it shows up reverse, what is the medicine here? So what is the medicine for all of this? And this has a little bit to do with feeling as if you don't belong. Feeling as if you're not in the quote-unquote Garden of Eden. Like you're out there, you're homeless, you're by yourself. So this card comes in to remind you. It is a mindset. You are part of this beautiful earth, that there is abundance everywhere. So really dig into that part, release whatever the wounds are, release the struggle, which is all of this energy, that Chiron retrograde, all this energy that we're going for. But as you begin to return this card right side up, as you begin to connect with Mother Earth, feeling yourself that there's plenty of abundance, no reason to get into the lack, I am that I am. That is who you are. You're beautiful, bountiful, blissful, yes. So that's the medicine for all of us. Don't allow the stress and the struggles and the feelings of not good enough. That's a mindset. That's actually a tappable issue too, which we can talk about at another time. All right, so if you chose one, two, or three, if you didn't choose, pick a number. One, two, or three, and we're gonna look at them. Actually, had someone asked for four, so she'll get the fourth drawing of the card. All right, so the first card that comes up, this is awesome, Thunder. This is the first card that comes up. Thunder is awesome. Thunder is reminds us of the thunder beings, of the storm, of that sudden change. Right when we hear them, sometimes we jump. So this is about sudden change. This can be a good thing. Because maybe you're struggling, struggling, all of a sudden things can change. But be prepared to know that change is coming. And that also that change can be the way in which you look at yourself and connect to Mother Earth. The abundance of who you are. So this is a beautiful one. The thunder beings. We hear them in the sky. They surprise us. This is a great card to help you move through shifts. All right. I know that's what I'm going through. This is a perfect card to help me move through those shifts as well. Surprise us. Wake us up with that thunder, that sound. Open the ears. Open up to the guidance that is there for you. I love that. I love that. 
All right, the second card was the Ancient Ones, but it was reversed as well. All right, so here it is right side up. This is all about our ancestral ties. This is all about the energy we come with. But the medicine, since it was reversed, is about releasing the energy that we hold on to that is hurtful. Releasing that kind of energy we bring in from our family generations that creates a victim energy. All right, that's kind of also like the first card, we, that focus card for all of us. Release the victim energy. Trust that you can forgive and you can shift the pattern. You can by owning up to this energy. Remember, forgiving doesn't make anything right, anybody right. It helps you to move forward. So trust the wisdom that's coming forward for you right now. Begin to shift it by honoring that forgiveness. If that was the card that you drew, number two, where can you begin to open up to that energy for you so that you can feel that connection to the oneness that is all around us, all right? So the third card that we have coming forward is the lower world. Beautiful card. This card reminds us to tap into the lower world, to really go in. That's where we learn more about ourselves, our path, our spiritual path. That's where we tap into the mystical, the guides. We go into the lower worlds for the journey of our life, to hear the heartbeat and the rhythm, to find that path. So if you chose card number three, there is some searching going on right now. Choose to go in deeper. Find the spiritual path. Connect to that journey in the mystical, magical worlds. Look at the blues and the darks and the indigos. All right, go on a journey. If you need help, reach out. It's a beautiful way to connect more to what your purpose is in this life. That's going to help you feel more of that abundance and be able to connect again to that beautiful, bountiful, blissful energy that you are, definitely. All right, Melissa had posted four. So, Melissa, if you're listening or later, you'll come back. I love it. It's called the Heart, and, the Heart of Sky. We actually drew this card this weekend in our Master Your Treat. This is a beautiful card that reminds you to really look up into that intuitive ability, look out into the outer reaches, and bring that creativity down. Bring it down. You can manifest it. You may feel different. It may be out of your comfort zone, but you have the ability to do it, all right? So, Melissa, if you come on and hear this, Give me a thumbs up and let me know. I know you could do this. You make beautiful products, beautiful things. Bring in that creativity. Look to the dreams, the stars. Look to the Ascended Masters to bring that energy in for you. Beautiful time to do this. Again, energy is shifting all around. That's where we kind of say like the universe opens that portal of doors. It gives us that nudge. It gives us that push to go to that next step, to upgrade. Again, that's all they were talking about. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Uplevel your work. Don't hone on to the wounds of yesterday. Don't. Beautiful message for myself, for all of us as we go forward. Let me know how that resonates with you. If you'd like a card, let me know as well. I see a couple people here. Let me know if you would. Hey, Vicki, how are you? All right, we've got a lot of people here coming on. Let me know if you'd like a card. Let me know if you have any questions about the one we picked. Right, some really amazing cards. They're really beautiful, helping us to remind us to connect with the abundant flow of life, with that Mama Pacha, that energy. She's so abundant. She's so beautiful. She really is. All right, Linda, I'll draw a card for you. Let's see what we have. All right, we have the Holy Mountain. This is a beautiful card. All right, it was reversed too. All right, so there's some, there's some energy in there. The medicine in there is like, where is it? It's feeling like everything is so hard. Is that true? Does it feel like things are like impossible? Like you have to move that mountain out of the way? So sometimes that holy mountain, when we stand on top, like it's like kind of when we talked about the Reiki story today, it's like standing up there looking out. But when it's reversed, what do you need to do to feel that you're on top of that? Look at the alignments. Isn't this beautiful? Because right now with all the planets going on, so realign your energy, bring in the sun, the moon, bring in Mars and Jupiter, bring it all in and find a way to stand on your mountain and not really to get away from that or not feel like there's that block in the energy. All right. Hope that's helpful. Give me a thumbs up if it is. All right, Patrick. Yes, these are beautiful cards. No holding on. Let that struggle go, right? You'd love a card. These are beautiful cards. I really love them. They teach us so much. The color, the imagery, all of that. The eagle. This is a very powerful card, Patrick. Very powerful card. What does the eagle do? The eagle's out there. It's up there. It's got wisdom that can see a different perspective of all life, right? It really carries so much wisdom. The freedom to fly, the freedom to be. Where can you fly in your life right now? 
This is a beautiful card. The eagle is just a beautiful card for you to look to as a totem, as the opportunity to move forward. Really beautiful. I love this. Really nice card for you. Where does that resonate for you? I know you work outside, so look up. Look for a feather on something it is that you want to move forward with in your life. And the eagle's out there flying up high, soaring around, having that different perspective. Eagles carry lots of respect. Where can that resonate with you as you move through this week? In this beautiful, beautiful card. Look at the wings open. You could do that as well. I invite you to find those opportunities this week as you move through. All right, I got a peace sign from Linda, definitely. Almost too much, he says. Yes, it can resonate almost too much sometimes. Don't you love it, though? And just That's the alignment. That's what being in alignment is all about. All right, anybody else? So let's see, what else I have going on this week? I will have a new podcast. I've just come back from the Reiki Master Retreat, so I may be a day, day behind. I'll catch up tomorrow. But last week, if you didn't listen to the episode, three top reasons why people are turning to CBD oils. Really great. Laura Logano from the, Amer um, the Holistic Cannabis Academy. Really great interview. Lots of great inf information. I've enjoyed this over the summer. Very excited. Also, hey, 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 I am now on iHeartRadio. My show got picked up. That's exciting news. And more to come. Other things to come as well. All right, Millie and Thelma, too, would like cards. But isn't that exciting? You can listen and find me on iHeart, which is a greater reach. All right, Linda, that's pretty powerful. A little scare. Realize you had to forgive any resentment and anger of the past. And that is so what, oh, my gosh, Linda, I'll private message you. But that is so what cancer is about that resentment and if you haven't uh -huh, i have a podcast all about it myself because yes i had some skin cancer this year and i've been working through that really intensely so i honor you for seeing that all right millie millie and all her cleaning up good for you all right millie soul retrieval oh millie this is a very powerful card for right now look how beautiful that card is soul retrieval so this is talking about going back and finding that deeper part for you, Millie, and maybe in cleaning it up. I know, I heard, I'm so excited. And I know in cleaning up and the cleaning out, maybe it's time to realign with that soul retrieval. When we do a soul retrieval, it's like we call back all the many parts. We call them back so that we can feel that wholeness. And so maybe you have had a lot of journey going on, right? And now this cleaning up, maybe it's time to retrieve a part of yourself. All right, that's a beautiful card. I love it. Look how the colors are. Look at the moon up there. It's almost like the bag is opening up, like pulling back all those parts, filling in all those holes to retrieve the part of you that you most desire. Beautiful card. Gosh, that's really beautiful. Really beautiful. All right, Thelma. Let's see what's up for you, Thelma. Thelma, I love your post. I share them often. The serpent. We drew the serpent recently, too. Serpent's a beautiful card. So the serpent is about transformation, but it's also about that upward rise of energy, of passion and desire. All right, Thelma, where's your passion and desire? Lift up the energy. I know sometimes in summer it can be like at this time of year, hot and tired and the dog days and all. So where can you lift up that energy and shift to? All of this shifting energy, shed a skin, but do it from that place of rising passion. All right, it's a little different than the snake energy. Look how it comes up and up and up. Look at this big old sun. So open up that third chakra. I know passion and desire is the second, but open it up. This is card is pointing to that third chakra energy. So where can you feel that transformation coming forward for you? As you move through this late summer, through this week, look for those signs for yourself. Beautiful card as well. They are all so beautiful. All right. Anybody else? Oops, wrong, wrong hand. Sorry about that. Anybody else? I've been enjoying the lives on instagram i've started a little thing called yike my yoga my hikes those are really fun look for more of those too especially to help us all realign our energy as we move through the late summer and all these eclipse energies all right come in come in for an energy session realign check out the reiki circle this week we're going to be talking about Reiki as a form of meditation. So if you've ever had trouble meditating, come in and join us. Reiki will just really help to get that extra layer of meditation going for you. Restorative Yoga to follow. I'll be doing a series on the late summer energies, the elements, and how we can shift up to move into the fall. Look for those things on my website, Natural Forces Studio. All right. So be empowered this week. 
Be productive Monday through Friday. Get stuff done. Don't make excuses. All right. By the end of the weekend, you're going to go back into a little bit of that reflective energy. All right. Especially as we prepare Mercury to go direct. So use the eclipses again. Be a master to your energy. Be a master to the alignments of the planets. Use them to empower your spirit to move through your week. Thank you all for joining me. I love this opportunity to talk about our vibration, to talk about raising our energy and how important a spiritual practice is. Reach out if you need some help with that. All right, take a deep inhale and exhale out. Centering the energy as you go to start your week. Be productive.